Have you ever wondered how aircraft are designed? Well, I'm Kirsten and I'm here to tell you. I'm an aerodynamicist, so basically, I'm a scientist. I work here at the German Dutch Wind Tunnels, which are part of the German Aerospace Center. And the work we do here improves NATO's ability to conduct air missions. A wind tunnel is a tunnel where air is driven by a big fan. But this fan isn't just any fan. It can generate flows more than twice the speed of sound. This enables us to test the designs of future military aircraft. Although the laws of aerodynamics are universal, there is a huge difference between transport aircraft like this one and a modern military fighter aircraft. Here to tell you more is my colleague Andreas. When we look at normal transport aircraft, we have a wide span wing, we have a moderate sweep angle of the wing. If we want to go supersonic with a military aircraft, like double the speed, we need a slender wing and we need a much higher sweep angle. Obviously, you can't see wind or air flow, so we use lasers and smoke to make it visible. During wind tunnel testing, we record forces and moments and pressures around the aircraft, which helps us to analyze how the aircraft actually behaves when it flies. So this information is then used for optimization or the design of new aircraft. Without understanding the aerodynamics, we wouldn't be able to fly. 